is Thanksgiving. Um, and sorry, I can't talk too, too loud. So I'm only hoping you guys can hear me as I am recording um, this. But good morning. It is Thanksgiving day. It's super early. It's like 6.30 in the morning, y'all. I am literally so tired. Um, and I'll kind of explain why. But first and foremost, as you all can see, I am not at home. I am in a hotel. And that is because we are in New York City um, for the next few days. Um, so super excited to be here. We actually got here yesterday. Um, and first of all, let me apologize for kicking off this vlog on my phone. I'm actually recording this clip on my phone because um, I'm in the bathroom right now and I have my camera with me, but there's no way that I can record the camera. Like I don't have anything to set it on. So. Anyways, I have to just use my phone because I have the phone tripod here and then I'll just pull up the other camera later. But yes, we are in New York City um, for the next few days. We actually got here yesterday morning. So we have been here for about a day so far um, and loving it. Um, this time though, we are here with the whole squad. So normally it's just me, Dion, um, that come. We've been here together. I think this is like our fourth or fifth time here together since in the entire 13 plus years we've been together. Um, we come here, we, we just we love them here. Um, but this time we have um, the girls with us. So we have Breland, Olivia, um, and then also we're here with my sister Alicia and my niece Valerie. So uh, it's like six of us, um, kind of like tackling NYC. Um, and yesterday was more of like a chill day, so we got in at like 11-ish, well we landed like 11, we didn't get to our hotel until about like 12 something, so got to our hotel, um, we like walked in, got some lunch, um, came back, we were all so tired from our flight yesterday, our flight yesterday, we left Houston at like 6.30, so we were all exhausted, which means we had to be up. Well, I had not even sleep the night before. Um, everyone else maybe slept like, Olivia slept like maybe four hours, we didn't slept like maybe two hours. Like we kind of all took like a little nap, um, but we didn't really like sleep. So we all, after lunch yesterday, we came back, took like a good like hour and a half nap, um, got ourselves together, and then we went out. I kind of walked around, and then we went to um, dinner at this spot called, um, five napkin burger it was like it's like out kind of like near central park um so yeah we just did that and then after dinner we just came back here got ourselves you know showered all that good stuff um, and then hit the bed so i slept for like about six hours i'm still so tired because of how early that bed and because of the fact that i didn't sleep that before so tonight i'm gonna sleep really good but i'm up and at it early this morning because we are actually about to um, tr attempt to um, do the Macy's Day Parade. That is literally a bucket list item for myself. <laughs> I have always wanted to um, go to the Macy's Parade in person. Um, that's like one of the things that we always do on Thanksgiving morning in our house. For some reason, we just always naturally get up and watch the parade. We've done that for years. And so I have always said I wanted to actually go to the parade in person. And so I figured I want to go ahead and go this year. Um, I, it was my idea. I really want to push to come to New York City this year for Thanksgiving. Um, so I was like, you know, like we have Breland um, this Thanksgiving. You know, we have the girls, like Olivia's. It's not, it's technically her second Thanksgiving, but this is like her first Thanksgiving where she's not like a newborn and just, like she's much more active and alert and all that now. So like, let's go ahead and just do it. So. We're gonna attempt to do the parade this year. Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes smooth. We really have no idea what we're doing. Like, we don't know where to go and all of that. But we're staying in Times Square, so we're staying, I don't know where street we're on, 40, 49th, I think. I don't know, we're staying somewhere. Um, but um, where we need to go, hopefully, I think it's like two blocks over. Hopefully, this all goes smooth. <laughs> we aren't. Um, we can get a good spot and you know all of that so it should be fun so i'm actually about to get myself together real quick um to do that and then after the parade 
we're going to take the train to my grandparents' house um, to go hang out with them um, for a little bit, just to kind of, you know, um, obviously see them, um, spend a little bit of time on Thanksgiving with them. Um, and then we are going to take the train back out here to the city um, and then have dinner at our hotel and then hopefully call it an early night because um, I know we're going to all be exhausted this evening. Like honestly, I'll be shocked if we make it to dinner. <laughs> Not even a lie. But nonetheless, um, that is the game plan. We have like 15 minutes to get myself together to stay on the schedule. So, I'm gonna do a quick little beat here. I don't wanna wake Breland up. Breland moves so slow, so I wanna wake her up here in like 15 minutes to get herself together. So that way, that way whenever Dion gets home from, uh, not home, whenever Dion gets back, he was at the gym. He can just, my goal is that by the time we get back from the gym, I'll be pretty much together, so, he can get his self together while I get Olivia together and hopefully Breland will be already together. rods my hair just to kind of create a little bit of volume at the top I didn't want like a full-on curl but I wanted like a little bump so I just unwrap my hair and just put these two little flexi rods and I'm trying this the first time today so hopefully it comes out decent but say I slept so good anyways just got her up Brilliant's up getting ready uh, I have to get Olivia ready real quick um, she'll be pretty easy since she's all bathed and stuff like that I gotta just lotion her down get her all dressed Get her teeth brushed because her breath is kicking. Say it is kicking this morning. He's very intrigued about the stuff on the counter, but we are up and we are doing it. And hopefully we can get out of here quickly. Our hotel has like a free like continental breakfast, so I'll probably just stop there to get something to eat on our way down. Um, and then we're gonna head to the parade. Say hey, booby. <laughs> Stop to get breakfast with the crew before we head out. <laughs> Finally made it out with the crew. I'm actually very excited. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so parade is over. Bring what you think? I loved it. <laughs> loved it. It was a success. The three of us took it out to the end. Yeah. Dion took back the littles. Uh, they, they lasted maybe an hour into it. Yeah. Maybe an hour of being out here, and then the, um, Dion took uh, Valerie and Olivia back to the room, which was at, which actually worked out for us because we were able to like move to a to a better spot since we didn't have the wagon anymore. Yeah. But it was so much fun. Yeah. What was your favorite favorite float? The sand Santa, yeah, yeah. I'm probably used to always the end too. <laughs> so now we're heading back. Probably gonna stop here to get some dessert before we head to my grandparents' house. Um, Breland cannot wait to take the subway. <laughs> she actually cannot wait to take the subway for the first time. All right, y'all. So we made a quick pit stop back to the room to get Dion and the littles before we head to my grandparents' house. I want to give you guys a quick little look at today's OOTD, so keeping it very casual today since we were on our feet um, for a couple hours. So I'm just wearing, uh, he's talking about shoelaces, wearing um, the short and sneakers, I forgot they're called, the varsity something. Um, but anyways, red and white sneakers and then just did an all black combo. So black turtleneck, black sweater um, from, got it at Nordstrom, but it's from the brand Topshop. 
So black turtleneck, black sweater, and then um, black Zara skinny jeans, and then just got, you know, my fresh haircut <laughs> that I am really obsessed with. I think I mentioned already that I went um, shorter the other day, so fresh color, fresh cut. Um, and then a suit on, some hoops, and then today's glam is pretty, pretty natural. Um, and then also a little gloss as well. So that's today's OOTD. don't like large crowds um so well let's go the opposite way and they found us see the crew the rest of the crew we're doing it this is also Rena's first trip first trip to Times Square she says nice <laughs> y'all she is loving she is loving the NYC life aren't you yeah she is literally loving it <laughs> All right, y'all. So bye -bye. we go. go uh oh, oh. Pick it up. Bye bye. Um. So update. Come on. We are back in the room. Y'all right. see the exhaustion on my face. I'm so tired. My makeup is all greasy and oily. At my little laugh lines are popping through and everything. But we are back in the hotel room. We have had a very long day. I'm so tired. It's almost we're almost the end of it, but I push through. Um. So we actually just got back to the hotel from my grandparents' house. So we went to, I don't know when I last updated you guys, basically we went to the parade. After the parade, we came back to the hotel to get Dion, um, Valerie, Olivia. And then from there, we hopped on the subway slash the train to get, um, to go to my grandparents' house to spend the uh, evening with them, which was so good. I was, I'm just so happy that we got a chance to actually hang with them. Cause I don't know the last time we've had that we were able to spend like an actual holiday um, with them. So anyway, so that was good. Um, we were there for, we were actually there for a lot longer than we thought. Like we had a dinner reservation for six, and no, I almost got up. We had a dinner reservation for six because we were thinking that we would be back here by six o'clock and we didn't end up leaving in there until like seven, like seven, 10-ish. Um, so we were there for uh, for like, we got there like two o'clock, like a little bit after two. So we were there for a long time, got to hang out. My uncle came by um, and it was good. Um, and then we just Ubered back here to the hotel. Um, but we're still hungry um, for dinner, from dinner. We did eat while we were there, but not enough. <laughs> and I told Dion that I, I wanna eat something just that way. We can have something in our system to last us through the night, but I can't out too late because you all see I'm tired. Currently in the Disney, Disney store. store. I know. I don't want to say I'm in the Disney store. Right. Currently in the Disney store with the crew. Mine is Dion. He's um, at lunch with a friend from All college. Right. Uh, make quick naps on the go. Olivia had some lunch and then literally went right out. I've been holding her like this for like 15 minutes while we're in here, but she is not not completely out. Okay, this is how creative you have to get. <laughs> Why are you smiling? This is how creative you have to get when you have. A sleeping baby and a five-year-old. All right, y'all. So this day three, 
in the city. We are walking and Breland is <laughs> cracking up because of the things that she is <laughs> seeing on the street. Like not this random guy offering Breland a, a smoke, a smoke. I'm like, no, I'm like, no, no, she looks, no, no, she looks like she of age. And Breland just thinks it is so funny. And I'm like, that is not funny. She is for Lily thinks it's the most funniest thing in the world. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I didn't kick off today, but today is day three. <sighs> We're out with the whole crew, so. This morning's been pretty chill, kind of just like we slept in, which was good. I thought like we all kind of needed to sleep in. Um, and then we just got out, we stopped and got some donuts at Krispy Kreme. Um, and then did a little browsing and shopping around Times Square, so we went, get a chance to like explore, see all the things. What you think? What you think? It's nice. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so we did that. And then we stopped and got some lunch. Um, we just went to McDonald's to get like a quick little light bite since we're eating. We're eating dinner with my parents. My parents are coming. They're staying um, out, my grandparents. They're not staying in the city with us, but they're coming um, to meet us in the city. And um, we're gonna go to dinner with them. Before we go to dinner, we are doing another bucket list item that I have always wanted to do, which is to go skating at the Rockefeller Center. Like literally have always wanted to do that. And so we are doing that. Oh, oh gosh, this girl right here. Really, is, is it sunny? Are you wanting to put them on? The sun is in my eyes. Oh, there ain't no sun out. Girl, look, oh my gosh. Anyway. <laughs> So I've always wanted to go skating at Rockefeller Center, so that is what we are going to do. Um, it's just me, Alicia, Valerie, and Ruland that are going to be skating. Oh no, and my dad are going to be skating. Dion isn't, my mom isn't, and obviously Olivia isn't as well. So that is the plan. So excited to do this, and the weather feels so good. Like, I thought we really looked up with the weather out here. I thought we were kind of thinking that it was going to be like crazy cold. Sorry, girlfriend. I thought we were thinking that it was going to be crazy cold um, while we were here. And it actually ended up being perfect. There's a little um, drizzly this morning. But the rain lasted like maybe 15 minutes. And now it's all cleared up. So we can enjoy our night. Hey, skating at Rockefeller. <laughs> She's scared, y'all. No. <laughs> This, this is our first time. Our first time skating. So the, the, the goal is just not fall. <laughs> Little Miss Pro back there. <laughs> I'm a pro. Like, I really got this. <laughs> Whatever. Like, oh, yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's over here helping Valerie. <laughs> My little penguin. Say hey, Daddy. Say, say, say hey. So we wrapped up dinner. Um, we went to Burger and Lobster. Very good. Definitely recommend. They have a very luminous mini though, so if you don't really like burgers or lobster, don't go there. But if you do, the food's good. Now we just walk across the street to go to Bryant Park. We're at the Holiday Market. It's the cutest little place. We're really back there entertaining. These glasses when it's dark outside. Don't understand. Anyways, I think I will say hi, Mama. Got the girls. They are literally being troopers. They are hanging, which is good because we're not having to like rework what we want to do around them. They're working with us, which is good. But yeah, it's like the cutest like little market out here. They have all the like, little shops and all of that. The lights and stuff out here are gorgeous. So cute. It's like the perfect like festive holiday spot. Um, they also have like a skating rink out here also, like right there. It's like right behind um, those shops there. Yeah, like right there. Ooh, right there. Yeah, Olivia's being such a trooper. Like, this girl. Say, I was born to travel. Say, I was born to travel. <laughs> Hi, mama. What is up, y'all? So, oh my gosh, this one is literally on 10. She's literally on 10. Like, I know Breland is so ready for the bed. I know, 
right in front of the camera. Girl. I know her sister is literally over her, aren't you? Over her, Yep. Oh, especially Valerie, y'all. <laughs> it's been very funny because, so as y'all know, Brulin is the oldest cousin, um, or oldest of the three. And so today, it was so funny because Olivia was getting on Valerie's last nerve, right? <laughs> like, literally. Like, all the things like a little cousin could do Olivia was doing and Valerie's getting so frustrated. But then Valerie was turning around doing the exact same thing that Olivia was doing to her. She was turning around and doing it to Breland. <laughs> we had to get to him Breland, not Breland. We had to keep, we had to keep telling Olive, Olivia, Valerie, we were like, Valerie, like give Breland a break. Like give Breland some space, like leave Breland alone. Cause she literally, when she's mom Breland, all she wants to do is, <laughs> is to be on Breland, ain't that right? It's so yeah. cute though. Yes, it's so cute, but I know Breland, I know Breland be so tired. <laughs> she be so, she be so over Valerie. Well, I think Breland just like, she's like Tulsa. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, very true. In Tulsa? Yeah. In well, it's, it's, it's clingy, but it's like, not that <laughs> clingy. Like after a little bit, they'd be like, okay, they're used to me being there. Yeah. But, Val but they also, mind you, because Breland is Valerie's only big cousin, so. Olivia, baby. Yeah, whenever she's around Breland, like, literally, she is, like, clingy is an understatement. Like, and we have to literally tell her, like, Valerie. Like, I have to tell her all the time, like, Valerie. Like, give Breland a break. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. So obviously we are back home um, from such a fun, wonderful trip. Um, I think the last clip you guys saw was probably on Friday. Actually, today is Monday, so it's actually one, two, three days later from um, that particular clip. Because on Friday, that was when we did, yeah, Friday was when we did the ice skating and then dinner at Burger and Lobster, the Bryant Park holiday market which was so cute um and we just had some good time kind of hanging out there um but on saturday so we were we also we so we didn't leave new york until yesterday sunday saturday we were still there but the reason why i didn't um vlog or really get any footage is because um saturday was all about celebrating my grandmother so one of the reasons why we went there um to new york also aside from you know just like going for the was um to celebrate my grandma's um 80th birthday she's turning 80 um ne technically next month but my mom threw her um a birthday brunch a little early so it was so great that we were able to attend while we, while we were there which was so nice she literally loved she loved it. She loved that we were able to be there with her. Um, and so, and, and we were so happy that we could um, make it happen. So really most of that day was spent um, with family and obviously like those are more intimate moments that you kind of want to just keep to yourself. Um, and really just soak up and be in the moment and not have a camera in everyone's faces and all that, especially because this is not everyone's life, right? Um, like not everyone signs up to be on video so um yeah so saturday we just took the train back out um to near where my grandparents stay and then had the brunch um and then took the train back to the city and then that night oh then after we got back um me and alicia went to have dinner and drinks with one of our girlfriends who was in town. Like, she had a trip already planned to NYC. We already had a trip planned to NYC. And fortunately, our trips overlapped one day. So um, we made sure that we got a chance to see her while we were there. Um, Cause she's actually, she's still there. So yeah, so that was good. We, got to go, we went to um, Dos Caminos, I think it was called, and just had like some really yummy nachos and drinks and all that and just some good conversation. And that was pretty much um, the end of our trip, packed up, popped on the plane and flew back here so it was really good olivia like ugh, she she treats us so well because on the way there she slept the whole flight and on the way back she slept the whole flight on the way there she woke up like the last like 15 minutes and literally just watched um something like little you know that they had the screens on the back of the the screens in front of your seat so she watched something and she was like chill and then yesterday she literally she literally fell asleep takeoff and slept literally all the way through landing <laughs> so it was perfect even though her arm her head is so heavy so like 
I couldn't sleep well because I was holding her and like her arm is just like so heavy. And like even though I had like a like I had like my neck pillow to like support my arm, it still wasn't like so I kept waking up every like 15, 20 minutes because like how, how uncomfortable it was, but as long as she slept well, that's all that matters. Which for all my moms out there who are curious about how we have been successfully flying with her, we have realized, well, so we did this when we went to Chicago and then we used the same formula again when we went to New York and it, was, and it worked. So I feel like from like, that's just gonna be our formula when we travel. And that is A, take the first flight out in the morning. Me and Dion are naturally first flight out in the morning kind of people. So we always, even whenever it's just him and I, we always, we almost always take the first flight out. It could be a 5.30 flight, a 6 a.m. flight. We just like to fly out super early in the morning because you still get like a, you still get to make use of a full day to wherever you're going. Um, or if you're like coming back from your trip, like you can still get back early enough to be able to still have your day to like, unpack and do all that stuff so yeah so we did that to chicago took the first flight there first flight back that worked perfectly and even for new york we did the same thing our flight there was at like 6 30. our flight back it, it was supposed to be a 7 30 flight but it ended up getting pushed back to eight o'clock but it was still it was still really early for olivia so it was perfect like literally perfect also we we keep her up a little bit later at night so instead of putting her down at her normal bedtime at, which is like around 8 8 30 even with chicago and same thing in new york um we put her down like I mean, about two hours later she has a nap during the day so keeping her up really isn't that difficult that way by the time we take off she's ready to go down for her. she's ready to be out so like yesterday our flight out was like i said it was at eight o'clock so olivia got up at four o'clock so she was up at four o'clock we had to get her ready get all the bags at the hotel catch the uber to the airport get through security get some breakfast all of that board the plane it had wore her out so literally by the time we got on the plane which again was like exactly four hours and we took off at eight homegirl was out that is pretty much our formula oh and then i also i i make sure that she's freshly changed right at right when we right before we board the plane um and i also make sure that she has a full stomach so she can eat i mean so she can sleep on a full belly you know babies sleep better when they're when they're full they're nice and full so that is our formula <laughs> and it worked it's so funny i bought all of these like things one of the things that i did buy that came in major handy for her is i bought her an amazon it's right here an amazon fire kids tablet and that worked perfectly for the trip because she was able to play on it i didn't worry about her like pushing a bunch of buttons but it was like a big screen so like it really in intrigued her she wasn't on it like throughout a lot of the trip but like on the on the times where we had a little bit of downtime or like if we were on the train and she was kind of getting like fussy it came in handy or like if we were out at a store and she's kind of getting a little fussy it came in handy um and things like that so but i bought all these like little other little trinkets and things she's trying to keep her busy on the plane that i did not need and it's going right back <laughs> because i literally did not even I didn't even open it for the trip, so yeah. So that is pretty much the rundown of our trip. It was such a good, I think, in all honesty, I feel like that may be hands down my most favorite trip. I don't wanna say ever because I have so many amazing childhood memories in New York, so like, I feel like nothing beats that, but definitely as an adult, like that is hands down my favorite trip when I've been there like a bunch um, as an adult. So it was just good to just like have like to be able to bring like my whole like bring like my little family there and kind of like ex you know get to experience new york city with them family time with them you know like just be able to hang out with like my grandparents and my uncle um and my parents while we were there you know like that was their first time meeting olivia they've obviously seen her in pictures and on facetime and things like that but they haven't actually met her in person and the last time i was in new york was last summer and i was pregnant so it was kind of like a cool like to be like oh like last time you told me i was pregnant and now here i am with the whole walking t babbling one-year-old is crazy um but it was so much fun my grandparents really loved it um and i'm just glad that you got a chance to like actually go and like do like fun like bucket list things like roller skating and you know not roller skating ice skating and you know just those types of th the parade and all of that it was just uh i literally could not have asked for a better trip or better weather because the weather is freaking amazing i mean alicia were, me and alicia were saying that we definitely over prepared and over planned and over packed 
because before we got there it said the weather was supposed to be really cold i literally remember checking the weather on like sunday and it said that it was going to be like in the 20s like the low was going to be in the 20s or whatever it definitely was not it actually felt really good during the day and at night which worked out perfectly as someone who had like little kids especially being from texas but Olivia was a trooper, Valerie was a trooper, and um, the weather just, it just treated us well, and it was overall a really, 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 really good trip, and I just thoroughly enjoyed it. That is it for this little vlog, this little vloggy vlog. Um, like I said, it's Monday, so that means that I am back in work mode. I have to just really catch up on being out for the past week, so I have a really crazy hectic day but we're gonna get it done hope you guys had a great thanksgiving um week and weekend um and enjoy some time with your family or whoever you love your special friends and family and all that and hope you guys enjoyed this vlog as well so if you guys enjoyed the vlog give it a thumbs up subscribe excuse me subscribe to my channel let me show you guys real quick all of the stuff that i had to take back that i over purchased from amazon that literally <laughs> did not end up needing so now i have to take it all back to drop it off to return just all of this stuff right here so i literally i bought like um winter jumpsuits for olivia that i end up i ended up not even bringing those like packing cubes for her stuff that i didn't use headphones for her that um i didn't even end up opening like i bought busy boards for her for on the plane that again she slept through the whole thing so she didn't even need that Thermals. I bought thermals for her for the trip. That was gonna be too cold. But anyways, yeah, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.